Hey, Pfeiffer. And brothers and sisters of the league, let's go in here and meet the guy that's behind this, this place. Hey, Friday. Oh, hey! What's up? We, we, Tell me about surprise. We we got to do uh, we got to do one since Hoss did one. Yeah. We gotta we gotta let you meet some some friends here of my Absolutely. channel. This is uh, friends. This is Friday Ellis. He's the owner of this fine establishment, and this is the place I've told y'all about that I hang out. Welcome. We can't have uh, we can't have Kevin uh, trying to one up you. He beat you to the punch. I said you he, beat, to he beat me to the punch, but uh, I tell you, there's enough to go around and. Uh, well, good. Uh, well, come take we've a got look. different followers, so kind of give us a little. Um, sure. Give Absolutely. us another little tour of this thing. Uh, this is this is my rolling table. Eventually, <laughs> I'll source some tobacco leaf and roll. I have some good friends of mine in Western Missouri, Colton and uh, Corey Frisbee at the Western Tobacco Company that taught me how to hand roll cigars. This will be my table where I'll roll cigars. Now, my first line will be after Huey P. Long, the famous governor of ours. And uh, Huey had a huge personality, bold personality, so I'm going to have some Nicaraguan tobacco, filler binders, so I wanted a spicier, full-bodied cigar yeah, to yeah. kind of mimic his personality. Uh, absolutely, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. We just had some consignment pipes here at the shop. This is a Beckler. Yeah, I know Hoss bought a super good looking set, and then I bought one from you too, the little freehand. Yes, and this is Royal Mearsham, Mearsham Company. This is uh, another estate pipe, unsmoked. Beautiful, beautiful pipes. The same gentleman just dropped off this Ben Wade. Man, this, uh, is, this is an awesome set here. Set, gorgeous. I think it's the 300 series. It is. Gorgeous pipes. Just beautiful, Look beautiful that, yeah. pipe. It's gorgeous. And he also dropped a few off uh, that I have in the case. He has some Nobel Prize pipes in there. And also a, a private home when he left. Uh, ben Wade and went out on his own, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on all this, but I'm trying to remember everything he said. But this is one of his entries right here. This is a private home. Freehand. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a gorgeous pipe. It is. And then you have the Nobel Prize pipes here. Just love that. Love the grain on those. Boy, love the grain. That's just is. a work of art right there. Yeah, I mean, I'd almost be afraid to smoke it. <laughs> now this is this uh, this is a Danish hand model, 6,000 or 600, I believe this series is. Just a gorgeous pipe, unsmoked. Wow. I mean, look at that, unsmoked. Yeah. Man, just gorgeous pipe. So yeah, we've uh, we're trying to get some pipes in here. We're and trying got a full line of lighters and cutters and Zycar dealer. Zycar dealer. I Absolutely. Mean, this is where I bought the Zycar that I use and. Absolutely. My next staff is a is a uh, cutter. Man, I came in here one day and this whole table was was full of McClellans. This was full, and the next day, I'm telling you, they wiped him out. It was just that's right. And, and then he's reordered, and it's got some more coming. But I'm telling you, they plowed through this. They were so excited to to finally get a premium blend of pot tobacco in this town. We've all had to pretty much rely on Captain Black and that kind of thing. And then one day here it was, and they went wild over it. Well, this is, we put, I love McClellan. They're one of the brands that, <laughs> if they advertise it smells or tastes like something, they follow through. This is a second order of the pipes and tobacco that we've had. But we have the English blends, the Frog Mortons, what's left of those blends, Black Shag, Honeydew. Yeah, the Honeydew is next on my list. Uh, Dorting, uh, right. pipe tobaccos, Dunhill. Uh, some of the Mac Barons, and we're slowly trying to get some of these back in. Right. Esoterica, some of the, premi the McClellan Premium Aromatics. Do you know if you're going to be able to get Penzance and uh, Stonehaven at some point, or have, the, they, have uh, they talked to you about it? The guys at Arango said that they've got me on a waiting list. Got you. I'm I, sure everybody in the country's I on think, a waiting yeah, list. Yeah, that's pretty much the norm. I'll tell you this, I brought this uh, the, the from their Premium Aromatic uh, line, the, the Melamac, and this is, uh, this is one that... Uh, is honey and pecans, and it's and like Friday said, it's one that <laughs> it truly <clears throat> smells and it, it tastes like it smells. And it well, and I it think of I think of honey and pecan. The reason I brought this in here is that I think of pralines, right? Uh, pralines, very, 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 very you similar. Want to pronounce it here in Louisiana, <laughs> and I just I just felt that it'd be a good. Well, you know, example. I didn't give a lot of thought to to McClellan's before. But from what I've smoked from here, they they truly live up to their their description. Absolutely. One of the uh, one of the very few that that, that really does. Sure. You want to show us? Yeah, yeah. Let's look at that humidor. Sure. Yeah. Come on in. 
We just received our uh, La Florida Minicana line yesterday, and I don't know if it was here when Haas uh, showed up, but La Florida Minicana came in. Absolutely, I think they were, at, because I, I pointed so. out this uh, Colorado Oscuro, one of my favorites. This is uh, also Humidor Supreme, Savoy Humidors. This is, I, I made a joke yesterday, we're, we're still in our soft <laughs> open, and I told people that, you know, I tell everybody I'm a shrimp boat captain for my artwork that's on the wall, but <laughs> yeah. eventually we'll replace that oh, with photos of old governors of Louisiana. Yeah. I'm really excited to carry the Tatuaje line. Right. We opened up this jar, actually this jar is going to Kevin today. We opened up a jar yesterday, that jar is gone. We had to open this jar up today for the Tatuaje Black Corona Gorda, and it's going to be gone by the I'm telling y'all, that, that is a fine smoke. I had one the other day. And, Surely did, and of course he's got a full line of the Olivas, and this, this is, is the one I've been really hyping and I've been really talking about. I love it. James Brown with Black Label Trading Company. This is a 6x60 six box pressed uh, cigar, and I just received a text yesterday, and the guy came in, and he had a bad day, and he texted me and was like, Friday. This is, I don't know whether it's the 15 year Balvenie I'm pouring down my throat or this cigar, he said, but it is a great cigar. And they'd spare no expense on their packaging and marketing. Just a beautiful deal. Our first event we've planned is with Black Label Training Company. They're launching right. a new cigar called Morphine. And I'm excited to have them in. We're, we're going to do a whiskey flight pairing and a lot of other things. Right, like right. Well, we're looking forward to that. That's on the 13th, coming up in June. Yeah. Well, let's take them to the uh, cigar parlor. And, uh, this this is what I was smoking on the way over. And this is a fine stick, the little Gordito. Oh, oh the Lot 23. The Perdomo was oh, requested by a lot of people. And that is, And I paired it up with that coffee that... Uh, um, Twin engines. Twin engines. Last coffee. night, believe it or not, at 11 o'clock, I made a two two pot, a two cups, <laughs> and that one goes excellent. That's good. That, that is the the best combination I've ever had with a with a stick. You know, you read market the way they market this, and that, and the story or the picture they paint. They did a good job. I was a bit skeptical, but it is. It's something to be said about drinking a coffee from that same region, the same soil. That yeah, that, it, it came out of the same soil, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's that's Nicaragua. A, and if you still got the bag, I want to show them what it looks like. And, and, and hopefully that's something we're going to be able to get right here. Member lockers are going here. Right, They're right. They're being cut right now by my cabinet man. And eventually you're going to have, this is where, the, this is the brains of the place right here. This is, right. A, this is where a lot of world and, and, and problem, nation, national problems are solved right, right here. the world's problems. Absolutely. He's going to eventually, uh, tell him about eventually having the deal where, where you can have a, a key entry type thing. That's uh, uh, this you is, don't, well, I'm, I'm also cutting uh, wet bar here that's going to have ice and if you want to bring a drink, you'll have everything here available for you to mix a drink with right. tumblers and everything, bottle openers, can openers. This will be an area right here where I'm going to have uh, my premium membership locker. There will be six lockers here. There will be the... Uh, how should I say, plantation shutter fronts, all Spanish cedar construction. And what the premium membership does is get you 24-hour access to this back room right here. Right. So I'm closed on Sundays. If you want to come up here with a friend, watch a game, if you're Absolutely. a premium member, you'll have a fob similar to those 24-hour fitness places. And you'll right. get the door, it'll open up, and you and a, friend, a guest will be able to come. He's got a, TV. He's got a TV Absolutely. here. and, and Absolutely. Uh, but we're we're still growing, and this I, I've been pleased by the reception. Got my regulars like Kevin and Hoss, and just to, uh, I'm telling you the the. It's getting to be quite a regular, a right regular bunch of guys. This area has has needed one, we've wanted one, and I'm fortunate to be able to bring it here to Monroe. Right. It's been a pleasure just meeting people. I always tell people I sell cigars and pipe tobacco, but what I really sell is. Is an experience. Absolutely. Uh, two days ago, we had an 85 year old man and his grandson come in and celebrate his 85th birthday wow. with a cigar. Yeah. I typically sit back here and, and, and talk with my guests, but I stayed up front for that and let them enjoy that moment. Yeah. yeah. There's something they'll always cherish and remember. And uh, I, I was I was fortunate. I, I'm so glad I was able to provide a spot for that to happen. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, for them to share that moment, but. Absolutely, and I'm appreciative for people like Kevin and the guys. Well, no, nah, we're appreciative to you. And I appreciate all you guys that have already signed up for my channel. I promise you that I will get a video out here pretty soon, 
and thanks so much for the interest in it and thanks so much Absolutely. for sharing. And I hear the doorbell going off up Absolutely. there so it looks like fishing to get busy so we'll wrap this Good. thing up and catch y'all another time. Right. Thanks again. Alright Friday. Alright guys there you have it. From the man himself we're gonna we're gonna shut this down and I'm gonna go fire up a uh, pipe and, and we're gonna sit and relax and enjoy ourselves a little bit. Y'all take care. We'll catch you next time and until then have a good one and God bless.